Uh, hi, Year 12 of Central Maths. Um, we will be moving along again today from um, looking at just Cartesian planes and plotting points on Cartesian planes. Um, and we're going to look at um, basically some patterns and some rules that are going to follow from those patterns and constructing tables that represent those patterns and rules. Um, but I want to start off with, if you look at the start of 9.3, it talks a lot about um, algebraic equations um, and linear equations. We're just going to not worry about that just yet. Um, that will come out soon enough. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more of an understanding of it um, by the end of this um, lesson. Um, but we're just going to skip past um, 9.3.1, which is the algebraic view. Algebraic view. You can have a look at it if you want. You've probably seen it before. Um, but we're going to move on and look at worked example three, which is talking about patterns and rules. Um, so that's on page 329 here. And you can see it's got an example here with some right here. Do, 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 those with some triangles. Now I have taken the liberty of drawing the triangles on the board. Um, and basically what we're looking at here is the number of matchsticks. So if you imagine these triangles are made up of individual matchsticks, okay, so it's not just a triangle that's drawn, um, and then seeing how many triangles are in each group. Now I've separated them into basically three different groups. Okay, we've got one triangle here, oh, sorry, one triangle here, one triangle here, two triangles here, and three triangles here. Now, what, I want, what we want to try and do <coughs> is establish some sort of pattern um, or a rule that we can use to predict how many matchsticks we're going to need to make um, a certain number of triangles. Now, if you look at the first triangle and you count the number of matchsticks, there are one, two, three matchsticks, and it makes one triangle. So, one triangle, you can see that, oh yeah, one triangle equals three by, we'll say S for sticks, okay? One triangle equals three sticks, okay? Pretty simple. We look at the second one, and we count the number of matchsticks again. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six matchsticks equals two triangles. So if I say two triangles equals six sticks. Okay, makes sense. Next one I look at, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we've got one, two, three triangles again. Three triangles, and that's gonna equal when I count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine matchsticks. Okay, <clears throat> so we're just looking at the relationship between how many matchsticks there are and how many triangles there are. Okay, so now we want to try and establish a pattern um, between this relationship between um, our two variables which are the number of triangles and the number of matchsticks. So what I've done is I've taken our information here about a triangle, one triangle, three matchsticks, two triangles, six matchsticks, three triangles, nine matchsticks, and I've just put them into a table. So I've got the number, of, uh, the number of triangles on the top, one, two, three, and how many matchsticks it takes to make those triangles. Um, what we can see here is there is actually a pattern. Hopefully most of you can see what that pattern is um, just by looking at it. You might have to think about it a little bit. I don't know. But the basic pattern is um, looking at how many matchsticks there are, okay, the number of matchsticks to make a triangle is going to be three times how many triangles you make. So for the first one, one triangle, three times one, three matchsticks. Second one, two triangles, three times two, six matchsticks. Third one, three triangles, three times three, nine matchsticks. So our basic rule is going to be <coughs> the number of matchsticks number of matchsticks equals three times the number of triangles okay the number of matchsticks is going to be three times the number of triangles that it takes to actually make that
triangle. All right, so the next part of growth example number three is asking you how many matchsticks would you need if you wanted to make 20 triangles? Well, we've all already established a rule here. <coughs> number of matchsticks equals three times the number of triangles. So if I want to make 20 triangles, how do I find out how many matchsticks I need? Well, I can use this rule. So I want to find out the number of matchsticks. I know it's three times the number of triangles. So all I need to do is say three times, I want 20 triangles. 20 triangles will give me the number of matchsticks that I need. Three times 20, 60 matchsticks. So in my table here, if I want 20 triangles, I know it's three times, the matchsticks are three times the number of triangles. Multiply 20 by three, 60 matchsticks. All right, can you go ahead and have a look at questions one and two on pages 333 and 334 of your textbook. Um, next lesson we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about input and output tables.